friends, how's it going? Uh, it is 4 a.m. on Saturday. Oh my gosh, it is, it is late, 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 early, early, early. Um, so this week I have spent quite a bit of time working on a painting. Um, this painting is going to be the new splash screen for the game, the new main menu. Uh, I wanted to work on it for a competition for Newgrounds called Robot Day. Uh, since my game has a ton of robots in it, uh, the entire planet the game takes place on is full of robots, I figured it would be a good fit. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to spend some time explaining my process here, since uh, not everyone uh, draws, not everyone knows how Photoshop works, so I'm going to explain some of this. So right now, here's what I'm doing. I'm laying out the image, which basically means I'm doing sort of a starter sketch. Um, a lot of people will approach this in a bunch of different ways. Um, you might have heard of the rule of thirds. Uh, rule of thirds is used to help kind of place things. Um, I, for this particular image, used the golden spiral, which um, I've heard helps kind of decide a focal point for an image. Um, after the image has been laid out, I'll usually move on to line work, which is what you see me working on here. Um, a lot of artists will actually skip line work and go straight into painting colors or, or um, shades, uh, like values, doing their work in grayscale. But uh, I don't know, my brain just doesn't work that way. I tend to, I tend to like doing line work, uh, even if it is a lot of extra work. Um, and speaking of a lot of extra work, one of the things you might notice is the growing list of folders and layers on the right hand side there. Um, the way I tend to work is constructively, uh, which is to say I will do each layer or each uh, piece of the drawing on a separate layer. Um, so each of these chunks of line work that you see is on its own separate layer. So this tree you're looking at here, that's a separate layer. Um, this, this other fallen tree, that's a separate layer. This building, that's a separate layer. Actually, it's a couple separate layers of line work. For extra complicated stuff, it's usually easier to just break things down um, as far as you need to to get simple shapes. Um, uh, yeah, and so that ends up being a lot of different layers and a lot of stuff overlapping. Uh, and so you kind of see every once in a while, I'll zoom out here for a quick second to see how things are looking. And you can see the spaghetti of uh, line work. Um, that ends up looking a lot better once base colors and uh, shading and things go down. Um, but it's interesting, for me at least, to see kind of what things will look like when it's just line work. Um, anyway, uh, here you can see me filling in kind of the back, the back, back, background here of the uh, city, uh, Grand Cluster. Uh, the city is, uh, well, I'll get into that more as I, as I start developing it later on. But for now, we're moving on to color. Um, so uh, the way a lot of people like to do colors is they will uh, put down a base layer of color of some kind, uh, probably some sort of middle tone, not too dark, not too light. Uh, that's sort of what I'm doing here. Um, again, each color gets its own layer, more or less, um, and then every piece of the drawing, whether it be a character or a creature, gets its own kind of group, uh, one of those folders you see on the right. Uh, and yeah, uh, it ends up, I think at the end of the day, this particular painting ended up being something like 300 layers, which I think is the most complicated I've ever done. Um, but uh, I'm sure there are many artists who will put that number to shame. Um, anyway, so as I'm finishing up the base colors here, uh, I'll soon move on to shading. Um, and shading, uh, a lot of people will do kind of lights first, focusing on um, getting the light direction and things like that correct. I tend to do shadows um, for me to just think more easily that way. Uh, sometimes I'll do a paint over uh, the entire character in shadow and then carve out the areas that are facing the light. Um, you might see some of that coming on here. Oh, there's a little bit of extra drawing I'm doing here. Sometimes there are little gaps in my layout that need to be filled in. So that's what I was doing back there. 
Um, and so yeah, here I am working on shadows right now. Uh, you can see I'll paint over and then kind of carve things out a little bit. Um, and that makes it so that I have um, nice control over the direction of the lighting. Uh, again, shadows are their own layer. Um, in this case, because I was a little short on time, um, I ended up doing the shadows in chunks of layers. So basically I chunked out this image into the foreground, midground, background, and extreme background, and then did a shadow layer, layer for each of those rather than for every single character. Uh, and that ended up just saving a lot of time. Um, uh, let's see, here I am moving on to kind of textures and things like that. Um, bones in the, in the background there for the city uh, kind of get their own texture slash shading. Um, I'm lighting them as well. One of the things that's true about that city is that it's very colorful. Um, whereas the village is kind of more earth toned. Um, here, yep, here are the textures coming in. Um, I tend to, I don't tend to experiment quite enough with, with texture. Um, I think it's just a matter of, I, I haven't spent the time to build up enough brushes and Photoshop and things like that. Um, but um, I, I, I don't know, that's just something that I know that I have a weakness for. Uh, I don't tend to do quite enough texture. Uh, but here I am kind of finishing things off uh, with some final touch-ups. As you can see, I top things off with a little extra there. So uh, this is the final image. Uh, this will be the main splash screen game. Uh, now, if you like what I've made here, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, I also have a Discord uh, where I tend to post once a day, once every other day with what I'm working on in the game. Um, I try to keep y'all up to date as often as possible. So feel free to come hang out. See you guys later.